Hello my beautiful people, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to turn a text into an outline in CorelDRAW and how to save this file rightly in any format that you want. Either you want to save it as a, a JPEG, you want to convert it to a PDF or you want to convert it into an Adobe Illustrator or any format that you want. I'm going to be showing you all that. All you need to do is to watch to the end of this video. It's going to be a very quick one. So I'm going to be fast as much as possible. So this can be done in just in less than a minute. So let's just go through. So all you need to, to get started, all you need to do to turn a text into an outline, you click on the text tool in CorelDRAW and you type, you're going to type with all cap case. You know when you type on CorelDRAW, by default, the text that you type is made, has a feel. So to make this text turn into an outline, what you need to do is to is to right click on the color that you want, go to the color bar, the color palette, and right click on the color that you want, and take out the fill color. In every by default this color has a few color and this one I'm gonna turn it into an outline color which is what I've done now I right click on the color then I remove the few color so here you go this is how to make your text into an outline then for saving it properly what you need to do is to right click and say convert to curve see it here you can select on both and say convert to curve what you do by converting is to curve but another thing is to when you are changing it to outline note the the outline range that you want to adjust the outline thickness you can either adjust it here Or preferably and this is the best way to adjust your outline is to double click on the icon color here which is like a pen tool in your status in your status bar double click on it double click and it will pop up the outline pen so what you can do, the best way to save your outline pen, um, your outline, the best way to save your outline is to note the size that you want. After you have chosen the size, note the, the unit that you are saving with. Then make sure you, you click on fill behind and scale with object click OK. By doing this, whenever you increase this outline, the outline will not will not lose its quality. It will retain the quality, the exact proportionate size of the outline. Let me undo so that you can see if I just if I do not click on that. Let's say let's check it out now and you leave it okay like this let's see what will happen to it you see when you drag it what you do is that this outline become reduced it reduces it just remains in the same 1.5 that it was you see the outline remains in the same 1.5 okay let me say because I am in a higher, uh, I am in a bigger size, and I increase this outline to to 24. So okay, let me reduce it now. Let's see what will happen. You see, when I reduce it, you see, it still retains that 24, and we have 
this not looking nice. So what is the best way thing to do? Like I told you, double click on the outline tool. Make sure you click on, on behind fee and scale with object and do OK. Now when you do that, you can adjust this your outline tool and increase and increase it and you will see it's going to follow the same proportion so if this video has been helpful to you just click on the like button and if you're new to this channel please subscribe thank you